Hey guys, I wanted to do read alouds for your writing this week. The first source is Dangers of Drought. Did you know that recent years have been some of the hottest on record for the continental United States? Almost 75% of the lower 48 states have dealt with drier than normal conditions. Higher temperatures and reduced rainfall have combined to create drought conditions. But what is a drought? It is simply a long period of very dry weather. The period of time could last for months or even years. During a drought, there is less than normal precipitation or moisture. Precipitation includes rain, snow, and sleet. There are many signs of drought in the sur surrounding environment. The water level in ponds, lakes, and rivers gets lower. Water evaporates from these bodies of water. During a drought, there is not enough moisture to replenish the water. Another sign of drought is dry, cracked soil and brown, dried-out plants. All living things need water to survive. During a drought, the soil dries out. When plants get the water can't get the water they need to grow, they wilt and die. Plants and trees in homes and gardens, on farms, and in any every other place can be affected by drought. Many scientists think that there is a connection between the increase in the number of areas affected by drought and climate change. Some studies seem to indicate that greenhouse gas emissions are slowly warming the planet. When we burn fossil fuels such as coal and oil, this creates more greenhouse gases. These gases become part of Earth's atmosphere where they trap some of the heat from the planet's surface. Some of this heat is redirected back toward Earth where it warms the surface. Changes in Earth's landscape have also led to increased levels of gases that warm the planet. In many places, people cut down trees and forests and use the land for farms and cities. This increases the amount of greenhouse gases in the air because there aren't as many plants and trees taking in carbon dioxide. As Earth's climate changes, many parts of the world could have a greater risk of drought. This leads to other environmental hazards, including wildfire, flash floods, and landslides. Dry land leads to dry vegetation. Dry grass, plants, and trees can more easily catch fire. When heavy rain falls on extremely dry land, there is a greater chance of flooding and landslides because the water stays on the surface rather than soaking into the soil. One result of drought is, less, is crop loss. A natural disaster has been declared in parts of Kansas, Colorado, Oklahoma, and Texas. Farmers in these places do not have enough water to grow crops such as wheat and corn. When farmers can't produce enough crops, there is a shortage of food and food prices increase. Climate change is an incredibly slow process. It occurs over decades and even centuries. There are things people can do to reduce the risk of drought. We must conserve water and use it more efficiently. Perhaps we can develop crops that require less water. We must also take steps to reduce greenhouse gases. And down here we have a little visual. And it says, did you know, the U.S. Drought Monitor is a map that shows drought conditions across the country. Light red areas indicate places where drought is severe. In recent years, Kansas, Colorado, Oklahoma, Nebraska, and Texas have been hit hard by drought. So <clears throat> you guys can see that the darker um, red that an area is, the higher the drought. So this D4, this really dark red, which is kind of in the center here, that's exceptional drought. Then we have a little bit lighter red, which on the outside, extreme. The orangish color here is going to be severe. Um, the orangish yellow is going to be moderate. And then the yellow is going to be dry. And then green is not experiencing drought at this time. Source number two. <clears throat> water, water everywhere. Water is essential to life on Earth. About 70% of the planet's surface is covered by water. But when there's too much water flowing across the land, it can be dangerous. Floods can consume communities and cause serious damage. Flooding occurs when there are heavy rains, such as during thunderstorms or from hurricanes. Flooding also happens when a river overflows or when a dam or levee breaks. During a flood, water covers an area of land that is normally dry. Flooding can happen in any part of the United States. In fact, flooding can involve as little as a few inches of water or enough water to cover a house. Most floods develop over hours or even days, but some floods occur with little warning. These are called flash floods. They can be very dangerous. Flash floods are a wall of roaring water that brings rocks, mud, and other debris along with it. Water can be a very powerful and destructive force. During a flood, human-made structures are often not strong enough to resist the force of the water. Homes, bridges, trees, and cars can be torn loose and swept away by the water. 
And here we have a photograph with the caption, flood waters can cause serious damage to cars. People who live in low-lying areas near waterways or close to a levee or dam are most at risk during a flood. People who live in grass, who live in areas affected by drought are also at risk. During a drought, there is little rainfall. The soil turns dry and hard. When such an area is hit by heavy rainfall, the rush of water cannot penetrate the dry soil. Instead, much of the water stays on the surface and floods the surrounding area. Here is another picture with a caption, homes near bodies of water are at greater risk of being flooded. Human activity also plays a part in flooding. As more buildings are constructed, more open land is used. This open land acts as a sponge absorbing rain as it falls. In cities, the water stays on the surface, flowing quickly across the concrete. Most cities include storm sewers. These are designed to catch and control water, but sometimes there's simply too much water and flooding occurs. What can you do before a flood occurs? Identify any flood hazards where you live. During a flood, find a way to safely move to a higher ground. If you have to leave your home, do not walk through moving water. People can be knocked down by as little as six inches of water. Floods are a common hazard in the United States, but they are mostly natural events. Anywhere it rains is at risk of flooding. The best way to stay safe is to be familiar with your surroundings. Know what to do and where to go if a flood occurs. Did you know floods often occur in spring and summer when thunderstorms bring heavy rains? Floods cause about $6 billion in damage each year.